Hello everyone, Pally Time here. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're back on board the Unreliable, and we're going to be taking a look at the ship's logs, trying to find out where we can find some more of these science weapons. We did get our hand on the Shrink Ray, which I haven't actually used versus any of our adversaries just yet. And I did find the log for this. Messages for Alex Hawthorne, and then it was his archived messages? No. His sent messages. No. <laughs> Fuck. All right, logs. There it is. So this is him talking about the shrink ray. Note to self. Remember this later. No better. Ada, remind me weekly to check this log until I tell you to stop. Yes, I mean continually. No, Ada. Not if I'm dead. Why would you even ask me that? Well, that would have actually been really helpful if she just kept uh, reminding us to check the log while she was dead, or while he was dead. Then we would have known about this from the very beginning. Back to my point. I saw in actuality with my own two eyes a sublimely powerful weapon in Wells' lab, just sitting there for the taking. If the gray hair were to look away or forget about it, maybe. Or if I had asked a smidgen more nicely. He called it a shrink ray, but... Wouldn't let me test the claim after I lost my temper. Said he was inspired to create the thing by the achievements of other scientists who dared to push the boundaries of human knowledge and decency laws. I heard rumors of fantastical weapons like this one, weapons that push the boundaries of the mind and science's cutting edge, but I figured they were just stories, to be honest. Laying eyes on Wells' shrink ray firsthand is enough to make a fellow wonder if there's more to the rumors, more to be had. Log entry number two is titled The Hammer Power. Uh, Captain's notes on the hammer power. The last time I got sloshed, I mean, was Im imbibbing at the lost hope on the ground baker. Look, Udam was really free with the drinks. He seems to like an okay fellow. He seems like an okay fellow. I shamelessly but subtly eavesdrops on the two Mardettes yammering on about a mad scientist some years back who claimed he'd made a huge discovery that would change the fate of the colony, like none of us have ever heard of before. But here's the good part. The Mardettes said the mad scientist kept yelling about the hammer of power or something similar. Is it like fucking Mjolnir, dude? A strange weapon with a special power created by a crazy lab coat sure fits the bill. It could be another one of the weapons that inspired Wells. And then this is, uh, actually, what was this? This was Black Market Leads. Um, why? Why? Why can't Wells just give the Shriek Ray to me? Blast him into the depths of the labyrinth on tar Tartarus and back! Let the record show I did apologize for shouting at him five times, but Architect be damned just sitting there neglected and gathering dust! I should have commandeered it and thanked him without asking permission or uh, breaking expensive equipment when I said I wasn't ready yet. And, th and that even if it were, he couldn't entrust it to someone like me. I don't think I read that paragraph right at all, but I'm just going to keep going. What does that even mean, I ask? That I'm not trustworthy enough? That I'd use it to wipe out the good, hardworking folks of the colony like some sort of moralist psycho? I'll admit to maintaining some questionable accusations, but I follow a strict code of me, myself, and my... What's not to respect in that? Exactly. Now, I have to wait until Wells forgets or thinks he misplaced it. In the meanwhile, I have been tracking down additional rumors pertaining to those other... Uh, to other of these science weapons throughout Holocon. If gossip holds true, my next step will be to check with the black market merchants on the ground baker and the Fallbrook. All right. This seems pretty straightforward. It's been a while since we've been to the ground breaker anyway. We can head back, see how they're doing. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Oh. Who's ordering these? Good. Good, we have cows now. All right, I'll see you guys over on the groundbreaker. Well, that should do just fine. Uh, sold off a lot of my stuff. I think we're, yeah, we were at 120 carry capacity before and we're down to 38 now. I stole that key, right? 
Yeah, sure did. So we have to investigate the black market here, which I'm pretty sure is our old friend. <laughs> I was um, I was testing out my settings in the game at one point, and I like to say it was a fever dream uh, because I didn't keep the progress. But um, I murdered everyone, <laughs> everyone here, every everyone was murdered. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of funny to see them again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I like killed. I'm glad I didn't kill off this black market lady because we clearly needed her again. Uh, but I don't think you guys even saw that. So I'm just kind of rambling at this point. Hello, I'm going in. Wait, who are these hostiles? These little. It's not the rats. All right, I guess I'm not gonna worry. Maybe we'll draw our gun. We'll get the shrink ray ready. Hello. Gracious, I was just sitting down for tea. I bet you sit down for tea a lot. Um, back to your hard-earned wisdom. Straight to the point, eh? All right then, on you go. Yeah. So, um, what do you? We already know what she does here. That's why we're back. Any time. Okay. It's so, uh, what do you do here? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. I also knit throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. That's half the reason I make them, my dear. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? Why the I don't care about the nav keys. Okay, why the board recall Stellar Bay's nav Ask keys? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. So what makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their... Dairy heirs. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about... The light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch. But who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Anytime, sweet- Well, this wasn't fucking helpful at all. You don't- <sighs> you, you don't think. I'm totally hidden, right? They'll never know. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll just do a quick save. The, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be that easy. Do you think he can see me, dude? <laughs> well, this was useless. There's a, a fidget spinner in the trash. In this compacted trash. Well, I guess we don't necessarily have to talk to her, right? We just need her records. Which, where, if I were records, I'd probably be in here. You know what? We, oh, we can... Come what do you think you're doing? Nothing. Oh, you're just leaving. Best make yourself scarce now. That didn't, that didn't work out at all. That didn't work out at all. I don't want to have to kill him, dude, but I need the locks. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? I've never seen her stand up before. She doesn't have any other... I found it. Maybe she sells them. Oh, I didn't even think about that possibility. Um, archive cartridge. The data cartridge contains a public records of a mining outpost on Cilia. Can we view using the captain's terminal? Uh, battered Mardet, an old data pad once used by the ground bakers Mardet security forces from the company Dust and Grind. This hasn't been accessed for over a decade. 
Um, sure. The old data pack contains incident reports of various Mardet security protocols, must or details of simple finds and dust-ups between the crews of the Wildcat freighters and the corporate haulers. Two entries, two entries have been marked for later review. August 7th, 2344, responded to a code ID10-T at the Lost Hope. Vera asked us to bounce some back bay rat that got himself soaked in spectrum red, drunk at full, got into a scuffle with an engineer Tennyson's people. We tossed him in the rung leech back down into the bays. Asshole fought the entire way, telling us we'd be sorry once he controlled the hammer of power. If this is some new Hammersmith marketing stun, I'm complaining. <laughs> Had another run-in with a rung leech from the Lost Hope. Don't know how the uppity piker crawled out of the back bays without us noticing. Locked himself in the repair bay off on the docking slip 13 and refused to come out. Kept raving about a weapon's chaotic beauty or some shit while we were trying to talk to him about it. Had to break off when our shift ended. Whole head's gotta come out eventually. Interesting. I'll buy that too. Thanks, lady. So, it's over by where the ships land, potentially, if he never came out of there. I don't think I have very many materials to actually break through anything. But we can give it a try. This is leading me back to my ship. So one of these markers is heading back to my ship. I think the other one is in a restricted area. Now, I don't have... Uh, wait, no, isn't it a isn't it an automatic hologram thing? This isn't it. Uh, I think I have to go through this. I think it's the jail here. Authorized personnel only. Yeah, we have a hologram. Okay. Uh, so people aren't gonna they're not gonna like me in here too much. But we have a second to move around. Uh, do I need to pick that? But now that I'm in here, it seems like it's really far away. No, it's not in here. It's in the back of this place, I guess. It's really confusing to get to. If we're following the map, we should be able to move through here. Oh, I see. It's just a small little opening up there. Can I get on top of this shit? Oh, beautiful. No wonder it was so hard to find. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. All right. Uh, so you, they're, Somebody was trying to fix this up, but they're not going to like me too much in here by the sounds of things. By the look of things. I think these were actually the enemies we were seeing on the map earlier. Should we try out the shrink ray? Scrap mechanical. Oh, that's a robot. Fuck. Outlaws. Outlaw strikers. Yeah, these guys are up to no fucking good. They got outlaw in the name. Pavati, if you wouldn't mind. Here goes nothing. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's not shri- Oh, he- <laughs> oh, 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 So, does this actually lower their damage at all? I don't deal any damage. Oh my god, you took their body parts off. That's disgusting. I don't actually deal any damage by just shooting him that, do I? Oh, fuck. All right, well, this is a very locked door. Uh, we need almost twice as many of the hacking tools that we currently have to get that fucking thing open. With any luck, one of these guys has a key? Well, work gear, farm friendly. Well, that's his arm up there. Did you see it highlighted when, <laughs> when I was looking at him? Uh, there was another dude on this side, right? Looks like there might be some more facilities in here for us to look through. Um, wow, this is just hidden behind crates. They were keeping this place secret. Oh, this is right, I just walked through. Do you think those guys are in on it, or if that was really just a secret little area there? There it is. I didn't see this body, the repair hanger key card. All right, that should let us right in, right? Beautiful. The prismatic hammer. 
Only 76 DPS, two-handed, 72 melee damage, special effect knockdown. Hammersmith was working on a hammer weapon, the Pulse Hammer, when the rival company Armored Ballistics stole the plans, rushed its development, and beat them to the market. All the while ridicul ridiculing Hammersmith with a marketing campaign about having no hammers in their weapon line. Hammersmith's executives demanded the ultimate hammer to be produced, but this prototype was so expensive that it was never entered in production. Well, we did it, dude. It says to search for clues. Locks. Discovery! Ra while rummaging through the back bays, I discovered a very old hammersmith crate that seems to have a se that have been sealed for a very long time. A bit of elbow grease and determination pried it open, but I couldn't t I couldn't make heads or tails of the discovery. A prototype hammer. I didn't know Hammersmith actually made hammers, but it brought me to my lab. But I brought it to my lab for a closer look. I'm sorry. How strangely it glows. The trail in of its wake lingers even more with my eyes closed. I spent more time on the hammer. Its internal workings are a state of art. Thermal, electrical, and chemical systems all working together in harmony. How is this even possible? The weapon is breathtaking in cir circuitry and engineering, and many of its systems appear rigged against tampering. There's a curious energy signature swirling around the weapon, though I have yet to identify the source. The air tastes of copper, and I have lost several teeth. Oh, good. I was going to give this to one of my companions, but now I don't feel like I should. I've had the most sublime prismatic dreams since I invited the hammer into my bedchamber. Never mind that for now. <laughs> Good news first. The energy signature matches Blon Blondiet's elusive in rays, raising the hammer's elemental properties to four. Shock, plasma, corrosion, and radiation. Now for the bad. In my attempts to neuter the self-destruct functionality, I inadvertently caused a small fire. The hammer's manual controls may never function again. Swinging, it seems to be the only way of cycling through the elemental modes. I must take great care with future experiments. So every time you swing the weapon, it switches its element? Uh, I've taken the liberty of locking myself in the workshop. My tinkerings were all for naught. This is no prototype. I am simply too flawed to recognize its perfections. The hammer is a lesson, a symbol. It whispers to me that disorder rules all things. But with a little ambition, we can harness that power. Only by inflicting chaos upon others can we transmute disorder into harmony. And that is a lesson Halcyon is not ready to hear. Okay, well, he very much enjoyed the hammer. We <laughs> took it to his bed chambers. Uh, what do we want to replace with it? I got my knockdown gun. I guess we can swap out my fire weapon for the time being. So th it's in fire mode now. Electricity. Is this, is this normal? Okay. Dub, dude. Feeling good. We got two science weapons. I can't shrink stuff after it's already been defeated. Well, let's head back to the ship. We have that mining log that we picked up that we should be able, yep, to view on our terminal. From the site supervisor's personal logs, the captain sold Harris something called the Rearranger, then left before we discovered the damn thing doesn't work. Only thing it rearranged is the number of bits in Harris's cart. Looks like some strange tech or a weapon. Maybe a scientist can make something of it. That was result number one. Result two from the site safety officer incident report. Doc Caulfield couldn't save Lem. Now I gotta arrest Harris for his murder. Confiscated that weapon he used and stored it in Birdie's office for now. Figured the least, uh, figured the least, figured, figure the least the site superveyor can do. All right, we got it. Fucking, fucking nailed it. Is fill out the forms for whatever this damn thing is. Don't know how I'm gonna detain Harris. Not like we got prison cells on this rock. And then the last entry... Given name, Lumel. Family name, Harryford. Employment status, indenture. Contact term, 35 years, 2 months, 16 days, 5 hours, 33 minutes, approximately remaining time of deceasement. 
uh, 6.30 at night. Whoo, look at me reading military time. Oh, cause of deceit was blessed for its trauma. Weapon unknown. Took a good whack to the noggin. The facial area, to be specifical about it, it's all twisted up too. Nose is five times too big. Jaw is shrunk to almost nothing. Teeth are all out of kelter, though I suppose that was true pre deceasement. If the blow itself didn't kill him, there's no way he could have breathed with all that damage. Oof. Uh, so it seems like this gun just fucks with a person's composition. Jeez, let's see if we can go get our hands on that. <laughs> hey, Grim. Hope you like your poster, bud. Man, I feel like we spent a lot of time on this planet. <laughs> and this is pushing the ultra settings a little bit too far. I don't think we're keeping a constant frame rate here. Uh, looks like we need to head outside. The map was telling me to move inside. Maybe it was telling me to get back on my ship. We'll see where they're trying to lead us once we get out of here. We're in Fallbrook now. I think what is happening is the, the quest marker is trying to get me to visit the other black market vendors to see what they know. You seen Arthur today? Uh, which I guess this one's in here. Never even talked to this guy. Hey, bud. Hungry? I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Uh, Catherine said you can give me an ID cartridge for the CMP factory. I mean, we're not doing that. Uh, does he have logs like before? A personal data pad for a sublight contractor. When sublight contractor dies on the job, their aggressively non-sentimental teammates sell all of their possessions to maximize profits. This could explain why most sublight contractors tend to work alone. It's hard to partner with someone who often weighs how valuable your corpse might be. Yeah, we'll buy that. Databag contains a personal journal of Mercer, Mercer Cole, a low-level sublight contractor. Most entries pertain to slagging his teammates or complaining about shift for pay contracts. The last entry reads, Can't believe we found fucking Olivardi's gas in a hibernated Rizzo lab out in the duck dust back. La vite! Olivite? Whatever it's spelled, it's worth a shit ton. Who the fuck used to make candy? <laughs> used that to make candy. Looks like old Gertie's hunch is going to prove out. Not that I'll ever tell her so. That way she goes primal at the slightest hint of criticism. Uh, too much product for us to transport. Going to need a ship to smuggle it off the world. Per probably need Lila Hagen to send a team. No way Miss Mallon can handle this job out of Fallbrook. I've been working on Remy, plying him with the pale kale ale he likes. Figured if I get him nice and sloshed, he'll tell me the password into the place. Did some exploring while he and Gertie were testing the Al Witty gas. Found an old elevator shaft, a lab, co a lab coat modded into a hidey spot for some dandified weapon. Things probably worth enough to make me a right top runger. After I go back for it. Old Mercer's getting his self to Byzantium. You can bet on it. This is so hard to read. I can barely read normally. <laughs> Can't let Remy or Gertie find out about it. So they found an elevator. At the bottom of it, there's some good shit. Corporate data pad of UDL branding for the plasma burns and specks of blood. Marring the device. Its previous owner refused to part with it until... Quote, over my dead body. Oh, these look cool. I didn't know you could inspect models of stuff. Screen is cracked and most of the keys are not functional. Fused together from plasma damage. But a few entries are... Uh, but a few of the entries are unreadable. One of the remaining only snippets can be viewed. Orpal Saber, you are reassigned effective immediately. Must report to Site Safety Commander Sanders by 1600. Transport provided by non-corporate contractor. Reliable. Proceed over land to research factory East Town designation Fallbrook. Kind of a shithole facility is this. I'm never accepting a promotion again unless it comes with a gilded blank. Hastily keeps losing her damn key card. Expects me to find it for her. Not her fucking swain. At least Powell is easy on the eyes. 
Shipped rat fucking alarm went off again before I had the chance to try the weapon. Seen anything like it? Itch chastity. Bitch chastity used it for a damn prank. Now Sanders is going to lock up all... Uh, lock up. And I'll never... Perfect for crowd control. Easy to maintain order in townships once they get their hand on it. So it seems like it's a, a fucking grenade. Like a, like a little explosion you can throw out. And it's not far from here. It's back in the UDL facility. Now, we cleared this place out before. Uh, I don't know if people are going to respawn. We killed the, the bandits here, right? Isn't, isn't that what we did? Uh, is this door locked? Oh, it's just right fucking there? The monarch weapon. Oh, it's locked, obviously. Uh, anyone got a keypad sitting around here? Pick up UDL Lab's weapon terminal keycard. This was just upstairs sitting on the desk. I wonder if that's the proper keycard. Didn't even have to look for it that hard. That maybe took uh, two minutes. Is that seriously it? <gasps> oh my god. Terminal is only used by UDL personnel. Yeah, we're breaking that rule. Unlock the gloop gun containment unit. Um, question one. You are attending a company meeting. Wait. Research data. Early results are promising. We managed to increase the surface tension of the gloop. To create a controlled and predictable spread of the substance. Management wants a catchier name, though. We'll take the L out. Just call it Goop. Note, I told Paolo we're not calling it Project Sticky Bits. <laughs> but he refuses to refer to it as anything else. It doesn't even make sense. The Gloop particles are nearly frictionless. Paolo and Chastity have started to show interest in the project, which could, should be good. But their trials seem to involve covering various hard-to-reach surfaces and gloop and launching expensive equipment at them. I'm going to have to talk with them. Someone filled my underwear drawer with gloop. I have theories. Chastity used the gloop gun in our office paintball game yesterday. She said it was a mistake. But that's the third time she's made the same mistake. And she managed to cover the door panel with the stuff. Damn thing's been going haywire ever since. Do you know how hard it is to clean goop, Chastity? Excuse me, gloop? Chastity doesn't see, doesn't because every time I pull out the latex and solvent, she remembers she has to do actual work. From now on, I'm locking the damn gun up. So we have to, we have to pass this in order to get access to the gun. To confirm that you're an authorized Universal Defense Logistics Security Specialist, please answer the following questions. So we should assume that the lady that, that, that is bitter about all of this is the one who programmed this. Question. You are attending a company meeting at HHC headquarters in Byzantium, and vile descendants attacked the building. What is your priority? Um, protect the chairman. Proceeding with security check. Oh, shit. You are pursuing one of the many UDL personnel security mega outlets and enjoying your fine selection of employee compliance equipment. When you are approached by a stranger, he makes an offhand comment that could be construed as an indirect insult to Chairman Rockwell. What do you do? Uh, berate him relentlessly to defend Chairman's honor. Smile and walk away. Engage with him further to assess his intent. Uh, Brace him relentlessly to defend the chairman's honor. Correct response registered. Oh, I'm getting him right. Oh, oh. You and your spouse have a healthy, loving relationship, but one day you discover that you have been reading unsanctioned stories to your children. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you do? Destroy the stories and forbid your children from mentioning them ever again. Arrest your spouse and admit your children. <laughs> Arrest your spouse and admit your children to a re-educational program. Uh, turn the stories into the authorities and claim responsibility. We'll go with that. Uh, okay. Okay. Protect the chairman. Is it seriously send your fucking children away? Oh, God. <laughs> The Goop Gun. That's what we're going to call it. We own it now. We can call it whatever we want. 
the development of this weapon was halted when one of the scientists working on it was killed by marauders. And then the remaining team realized that no one understood her portion of the work, how the gloop is produced, how it counteracts gravity, and how it creates and conducts electricity is unknown. Whoa, it looks fucking cool. Whoa. Whoa! How bad does it hurt? Oh, we can hit ourselves with it a little bit. You know, we're gonna have to go out and we're gonna have to actually use these on enemies and see how we like them. <gasps> oh, that's pretty cool, dude. Yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. We're back on Groundbreaker. We're at the sublight offices. Lilia Hagen should be oh, upstairs yeah. and here, she might this. know Suppose where one of the laboratory point. is for I'm one of these secret guns. Hey, I'm talking here. So we're gonna try to have a word with her. Uh, I'm assuming we can just walk right through security. Someone's that? coming. Hey, bud. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Yeah, how'd you know? Also, fucking what happened? <laughs> ah, the name's Captain Billy. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Uh, good, because I was going to unlock it myself. Appreciate you. Lilia! So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Actually, I'm here just for a secret weapon. Uh, news Billy, Captain of the Unreliable. Charmed. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. I didn't kill him. I didn't ask. <laughs> I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. It's never straightforward with you sublight folk. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? Yeah, I actually, um, I'm literally just here to get a space weapon. I don't really care about any of this, but sure, I can get into Stellar Bay. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. Oh. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. So, what kind of salvage are we looking for? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full this tanks is it, this of is it. Vitae gas. All right, I'll take the job. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? I can't do that? It's impossible. What, what am I looking for? Don't go looking for anything, except salvage. Just watch out. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. I love Pavati, dude. My favorite companion. Gotta go celebrate our new arrangements with Cat Mayle, the Fallbrook. All right, well, the looks like we're going back to the planet we just fucking left. Maybe I can fast travel. I always run back to my ship. Beautiful. So it would appear that the abandoned weapon land is, is over here by Cascadia, which is a town that we've been through before, and it was just swarming to the brim with enemies in every direction. We do also have a waypoint going back into Fallbrook, but I think... That's just because where our ship our, our ship was left there. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the abandoned lab. Probably not. I think we're meeting someone here. But they're doing a good job of hiding. Sealed. Well, fuck. Hey. Here we go. <laughs> so does that? Re what is this doing for me? Does that reduce their damage or anything? What the fuck is the point of this? So that room's sealed, so we're gonna have to find a way to... Oh, 
open it. Is there a terminal around here somewhere? Indeed there is. Uh, let's see, you've been on shift for 88,000 hours. I have earned a five minute break. Why not enjoy a knock you out by? Uh, supervisor override maybe? Password is required for this action. Mash keys, return to root. Yeah, okay. Begin transaction. I don't think this helps me either. Welcome to Rizzo's Sweet Shop. You, We've got your candy handy. How can we sweeten your day? Yes. Um, have you offered the customer a slap? Sales of lemon slap are down. Remind customers how reflash it, refreshing a good slap is. <laughs> are you thirsty, friend? Nothing beats a zesty slap. Yes. Error receiving, okay. View current inventory. Nothing. All right, so we gotta get that password then, huh? <laughs> so the agent from Sublight should be in town here somewhere. Looks like it's over in the hangar area. We were in there looking for Grimm's baseball poster. Spaceball, excuse me. Uh, not too long ago. It does just say passcode on it. Uh, so, nothing too crazy interesting or informative. Is this the- is this just gonna be the dead person? Yep. A bloody note. Most of the text in this note is obscured by blood, but you can make out the words Lilia and the passcode Ant Deluvian. Oh, and a necklace. Nice. Wow, look at that, dude. That looks really cool. <laughs> now, according to our mission, we should have met up with another person working with Sublight, but... Do I have to read the note? Hold on. If we can just use the password... Hmm. Starting to think we cannot just use the password. Okay. Oh, Sublight thugs. Gentlemen, hello. I'm just going to walk right in. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. He's, um... You know what, let's talk about something else. Sure. I'm actually the fixer for your sublight problem. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. Oh, yeah! So... Um, I found a passcode on a corpse in Stellar Bay. I guess it grants access to the extraction site. Found it on a corpse, huh? If you killed Lilia's agent, you get to explain it to her. Not me. I didn't kill anybody, dude. Well, I have, but not that guy in particular. He was dead when I got there. Well, shit. I knew he'd come to a bad end one day. Still, no time for weeping and wailing. We've got a metric fuck ton of bits worth of salvage just waiting for extraction. So, the Alta Vitae stuff that Lilia mentioned, right? So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Um, def define safe. Meaning safe for me and my crew. Seeing as it ain't us undertaking the risk. Wh what is this gas exactly? Do I look like one of them egghead science types? All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. But it's a controlled commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. Mm, okay, I can get it done. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. They're all dead. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Um, our sawbones, Ellie, you probably cook something up. Uh, I'll find a way around the mantis. What if I just fucking kill him? What if I just murder him? I've handled him before, dude. Don't even worry about it. 
A sound selection. Nioka's sturdy, reliable, and don't mind wading knee-deep into guts. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Good thing we have an engineer, Pavati, who can handle it. Load vapors into a liquid propellant tank? I, I think I know how to do that. N no, I can do that. I think. You're yes. going to do great, dude. Mostly? Definitely. You're so confident. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. On the terminal, use the passcode you got from Stellar Bay to get in. Best of luck, Fixer. Dude, I already tried to use the fucking passcode, and the game wouldn't let me. All right, let's go grab Nyoka because apparently she is important for this one. And then we'll be on our way. Always imagined Falbrick would be... Man, our ship looks so cool. I gave the melee weapon over to Pavati. And we're going to sit her to use only the melee weapon. Uh, so she should <laughs> actually just annihilate some shit with it. And then that opens up my inventory to hold one more gun. Uh, which I'm going to go back to using that beautiful assault rifle that we use on occasion. Try to vary up my ammo type just a little bit. You know what I mean? All right. Fast traveling over. Now, supervisor override. Here's the password. We've lost the bloody note. It's of no use to us anymore, but the door is open and we can take the elevator down. Rizzo's secret laboratory. Now, I was only half paying attention when she was telling us what to do, but I do know I'm not supposed to shoot something with plasma. I bet nobody set foot in here since Cascadia fell. Yeah, you're probably right. I gave Pravati a fucking eye patch. It increases her damage by 10%. How dope is that, dude? All right. I'll walk around with this thing. We'll see how it goes. Is this just locked? Okay. Um. Well, let's take a look around. Maybe we find a key card. Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants. Suspended. Present your Rizzo identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. Downsized? Oh, shit, dude. I left my ID in the wash. Oh, let's try that. I'm not a threat. Disengage security protocols. Attempting to disengage security protocols without proper authorization is a fireable offense. Priming weapons. Um, well, we just... Barely, do we only have enough lie because someone in our party's here? Because I think my lie's only at 50. Um, I'm an authorized Rizzo employee, password antediluvian. Executive level password accepted. Fuck As yeah, identification dude. according to employee ID protocol A-3501. Welcome back, doctor. Be advised, Mantasaur threat level is petrifying purple berry. Please use caution. Mantisaur wounds are not covered under Rizzo's health policy. Have a productive day. Okay. Well, let's assume that that security code is um, uh, signal ADA to land the Cascadia on the Cascadia pad. Do we want to do that? Uh, the closest functioning terminal with refueling authorization is located above the Flavor R&D Lab. Dope, dude. So. Good job. Proud of you. So that door was closed and sealed, which I imagine they were doing to keep back... The manticores? Oh, they don't look that bad, dude. This is no problem. We're gonna be in and out of here, and that's a, a fucking mine. Ugh. Ugh. All right, so let's just stay here. Incoming. 
We'll use our new out. super weapon, you know what I mean? Try to stay back. I can't say it's super effective versus these guys, but you know what? It leaves behind a nice puddle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's approaching. Bye-bye! How we doing, team? We all right? I mean, I'm at full health. Let's use our shrink gun. See, this is no problem, dude. They tried to make this sound like it was going to be the hardest mission we've ever done. This is nothing. This is actually nothing. Oh, this looks neat. Uh, let's see. Use terminal. Align the fueling system. Initiate transfer of the Alta Vite gas. Terminal does not have a minister permission required to transfer the gas. Access is restricted to executive research focus group terminal located in the R&D labs. All this machinery is making me a mite nervous. Isn't that why we were here? Oh, do we have to go? We have to go deeper into this place. I see. Can't get past that armor. We'll just fucking right shrink them, dude. Maybe we'll get some companion ability resets here. Now remember, Billy himself is terrible at fighting. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> you guys are doing great. Keep it up. No hard feelings, okay? Dude, this is the easiest mission we've ever been on. They tried to make it sound like it was just gonna be this big thing. It's nothing. Pavati, actually, Nayoka. Shoot right through that wall, baby girl. Make him feel the pain. Oh, this is the queen. We should definitely shrink the queen. Beautiful. Now she's little cute thing. No, it could be small again. <laughs> I just want to shrink everything. I want to I want to be able to fit everything in my pocket. Uh, let me take a look, see. Okay. I'm thinking if I patch this into our fuel cell network, we can use the empty tanks to hold this ult of what a biddle stuff. I just got to compensate for the pressure difference. We burn liquid reaction mass, not gas, and the cells are distributed all through the hull, so I got to isolate the empties. That looks right. You remembered the sticky valve on number 16, right? Of course I did, Captain. Just gave it a little jiggle. Proud of you. There we are. Good as pretty and twice as new. All thanks to my moral support. <laughs> no, nice work. Oh, I just... just did my thing. You know. I'm impressed. I would have just tried to blow the thing up. And that's why we don't trust you with the engineering part of things, Nyoka. You have your special abilities. Other people have theirs. So is that... That's not the thing I was actually looking for, right? The weapons of the void? No, that's located right up there. I had a feeling it would be in an abandoned elevator shaft. So we're actually extremely close. The quest said while we were here, just look out for it. So... I looked out for it. The mind control way. Ray, excuse me. <laughs> a misfiled form put a research group specializing in marketing jingles into an advanced top secret weapons research facility. The research group spent months incorporating their new marketing jingles into the advanced weaponry and developed a mind control ray. Once the mishap was discovered, the entire facility was shut down and all personnel were reassigned to the most remote outposts corporate could find. We did it, dude. There's one more. It's bad. Careful, you're hurt. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, we don't have to go back that far at all. Nice. I think there's one more science weapon to get. And it's on the planet. Okay, we made the jump this time. Of uh, Sila, S S ah, fuck! Oh, we've never been to Scylla before. 
Real space, isn't it? Empty and silent. Never thought I'd see the like. Whoa. I woke up at night, but Patch yourself up. Ooh, that was a big fall, ladies. Be careful about that one. So if we go ahead and equip that mind control ray, does it just make enemies not attack us? We got a ways to go to get to this town. But what a view, dude. Beautiful. There's a scrap mechanical on the road. I don't think the mind control ray would work on robots. Here we go. It's just playing jingles. It does work on him, dude. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go to this place. Oh, wow. It's just in this building. The M Man Mandiblar Rearranger. This is the one that made the guy's nose bigger and shit. This weapon is created by an unknown and possibly quite deranged scientist. Exactly how it works and why is a mystery and has never been duplicated. We already read about this one. Oh, I gotta hit something with it. Oh, sweeping. Here they come! <coughs> That's some tough armor. I don't think it did anything, dude. He's kind of just standing there. <laughs> Does it only work on humanoids? And is that the last one? That's the real question. I think we got all of the, the science weapons. I got a full inventory of them, plus one on Pavati. I think that's going to do it for today's episode, boys. We're going to head back to our crazy little scientist friend and have a word with him after this. Thank you guys for watching. See you again next time.